Hi guys, it's not going to be a long video today, but if you haven't come across items like this before, it may open your eyes to a really interesting and unusual uh, form of collecting. The items you can see here on the desk today are China Mint medals. So they're not coins, they're medals. They've got no monetary denomination. They're effectively very lovely miniature works of art. They're all ma minted at official China mints. In other words, the same mints that produce coins for China. So Shenyang Mint, Shanghai Mint, and uh, Nanjing Mint, and uh, quite a few different series you're seeing here that have been produced over the last few years. They're sometimes available on eBay, they're sometimes available from specialist suppliers, sometimes you have to import them from China. Uh, pretty friendly process, uh, which is generally pretty good in terms of postage costs. Generally, these kind of items show the, um, the art of minting beautiful high-relief coins. They can be brass like this, they can be silver, they can be copper, they can be, uh, in some cases, gold for some very expensive ones. Uh, they can be enameled. They can have um, different materials, different shapes, uh, a whole load of variety. Today, I just want to focus on one series. This is the Panda Luna series that was started with this one, the Year of the uh, Goat in 2015. Shows uh, on one side uh, a scene representing the, uh, the lunar year. So in this case, Year of the Goat. On the other side, Panda against the Great Wall of China. Here's one for 2017. Panda uh, against the Great Wall on one side and uh, a rooster on the other side. There's two different varieties of each of these coins produced by two different uh, metal sponsors and it's quite fun to hunt out the different varieties and they get produced in very small quantities each year in both a silver proof two ounce just uh, yeah 62 gram silver proof and also a um, an antiqued version the mintages have varied between 99 for each of the antique coins and 499 for things like the year of the uh, the monkey maybe the year of the rooster and uh, now we've entered the year of the rat or the year of the mouse uh, we have a lower mintage uh, maybe it's a slightly less popular animal but the antiques are 200 and um, sorry the proof silver proofs are 200 the antiques uh, remain at 99 99 of these medals only so uh, I've imported a couple of uh, a couple of these, in fact four of these, two proofs and two antiques, which I'm going to have graded by NGC, and uh, I'd normally do that every year to maintain the the set. And uh, in fact, I didn't do it last year. I missed the uh, the year of the the year of the dog. Was it last year? I missed that one. But I've started again with uh, with this year with the year of the rat. Um, I mean, it's funny to think of all of this effort to go to designing these coins and manufacturing them, printing the COAs for literally only a handful of coins. And, uh, and these coins are not easy in any way to produce. Uh, and in fact, dies break quite easily in minting these kind of coins because of the deep, deep uh, relief and difficulty of minting. When the quality of the coin you receive is important, it really has to be the coin connection. The only mainstream dealer of modern coins that checks your coins and makes sure that you get the quality you deserve. Promotional code for February is Lindsay. That's code Lindsay for 2% discount. But um, each year, around about this time, uh, anything between December and, uh, and Chinese New Year, these coins come out. And I have to say, this is pretty much the best in terms of minting quality that I've seen come out. Um, I can't tell you just how amazing these um, deep relief designs are. You know, this is pressed with amazing pressure into this coin blank and you, you get a really great sense of relief. The 
panda uh, wall side. This year has got two pandas kind of looking at and toying with a praying mantis that's sitting on the wall. I think it's the first time a praying mantis has featured on one of these coins. And it's just really, really nice. I don't know which is nicer, the uh, the antiqued version or the uh, the silver. I think in some ways on the mouse side, uh, you get a, a little bit more of a sense of deep relief on the silver proof compared to the antique. But the antiquing is done really well. It's very, very nicely finished and put on. And I think these coins are going to do pretty well when it comes to uh, grading. I'm hoping for 70s. They fit into uh, a slightly deep holder because of the uh, the depth of them. So uh, they're round about 40, uh, 45 odd millimetres wide, uh, maybe a little bit less than that. And they fit into a deep holder, which adds a few pounds to the grading cost. And usually I choose the Panda Ink label to put on with these, which is what I'll choose this time as well. But uh, both of these are really nice. The antique one is slightly more expensive due to the lower mintage. Um, having said that, this year the silver proof might be the one to go for because the mintage of the silver proof, um, you know, in terms of how much the thing costs, is actually pretty low compared to the last couple of years. So it could be a good year to get into this series. Uh, you can still just about find the previous ones from 2015 to 2019 as well. Although uh, I've been trying to find a 2019 couple of these to fill in my collection and they, they don't seem to be very many around because the mintages were so small in any case. But I thought I'd show you that and some of those other Chinese medals, uh, see if uh, any of you guys are interested in something just a little bit different and uh, unique in the field of collecting.